one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what I got here for you today is an absolutely gorgeous 2000 Tahoe Z71 it's one of the last years of these beautiful I think this is the last year beautiful day on the river here and I'm gonna show you some of the differences real quick on these and I'm gonna probably run out of battery and have to do this back at the place but look at this factory brush guard awesome just a beautiful look on these I think that was even black on these um, just the difference on these the bumpers and your fascia or grill all that will be the same color as the rig it came in black and um, gold and maybe silver all right I changed settings in my camera because I didn't like how that was doing but you got fender flares on it and these are beautiful upgraded alloy wheels came with the factory steps and more of that and of course your little sticker not that that helps much you'd have these cagings back here and you'd have same color bumper as the rig and they usually came with a full tow package like this one and all that because they came with pretty much everything that they could come with um, so that's the, oh, these are aftermarket but they do look cool on there okay I'm gonna get to the review so like I say it's a beautiful rig it's a 2000 it has about 146 on it and I'm gonna do a once around kind of walk around and show you every angle of it back and away and not up close like I just did and or I'm gonna do in a minute I don't know where I'm gonna put that in there but it is a great looking rig and whoever had it really maintained it and took care of it well um, I'm gonna keep going around here and I might fall in the river at some point but that's that I'm gonna show you under the back while it's still light the tire from that Vegas sand dirt clay what have you man you know what really sucks is I want to get a flashlight here okay so the game warden stopped by so I kind of stopped doing my videoing but that's the size I'm gonna show you underneath probably in the morning because it's a little bit hard to show right now when there is the difference of light and this this ash and the stuff is killing us all right I'm back at my lot and I'll tell you what there was a lot of smoke the other day but today there's not all kinds of Trans Ams and military cuck fees and all kinds of stuff man cutlasses and Fox body Mustangs Roadhouse car Eldorados you name it but I like unique stuff and this is one of them things it's unique in this package they're getting rare and I figure I'll just run down the side here and kind of show you the paint and everything in a different light um, I've taken a couple videos of this and I don't know how I'm gonna upload them make sure and see the main one on my main channel cereal marshmallows and um, just enter Z71 Tahoe and it should pop up but it was very very red and wait a minute who are you I'm your director. the director so Tahoe and that's that it's just a, a beautiful rig I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of phase this out of talking about it but the other day I wasn't able to show the insides under here either because of the timing but you can see there we go super, super clean everything under here and I'll show you the back too um, the brush guard was refurbished um, still ash falling out of the hills everywhere from all the fires but great shape these things all redone nice thick coats of everything I mean this truck underneath was so non-greasy and just clean um, let me show you the rear pumpkin sway bar and even the calipers which is all so clean come on now I didn't have enough lighting before to show you but now I should there you go a close nice and personal okay well that is the Z71 there's probably two or three videos on this maybe an interior and exterior and then a regular all together sorry I didn't have that all in line there I've showed you the outside I'm gonna go around now and I'm gonna show you any problems with it and when I say problems this is minor stuff it's a little chip right there and there's a couple chips around here just tiny little things on the hood and there's a little ding right there probably gonna be hard to see but it's there trust me on it and going down the side they're straight as can be a tiny ding right there it looks like 
and these things have a texture to them um, and on part of it they don't have a texture they've been redone um, and fresh 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 redone um, and that going down the sides you're just not gonna find anything except for this one area here where there's a little crease right there and I hope you can see that I'm gonna back up oh, there you go back up there's that little crease in there depends on the angle some angles you just can't see it um, like I said these are aftermarket and pretty cool the Z71 logos are showing some wear and tear I guess you'd say wheels are in good shape there's light there's no curbing but they're, if they, they, they could use mothered out. You use some mothers on them, they'd bling bling right now. These are in great shape. There's a couple chips from rocks and stuff flinging into it, I'm sure. Plastic pieces, I hate to say like new, but they're pretty darn close. Um, roof rack and all that. Paint's in great shape. Um, the Chevrolet logo is starting to fade the chrome, the foul chrome over it. And there's a couple little gouges bumper now this is a metal bumper painted factory to be on this and back here it's weird a little bit and you can order this color in a duplicate color paint or something or get a can from your paint shop and redo this bumper pretty easily um, I just leave it, it ain't gonna be you no know, hurting them like it is there's a ding right there there's a couple little scratches here and scuffs this stuff is all in great shape um, the handles this one's fine um, I want to see it's this side this one's fine and this one's starting to separate like they do. Um, and I could even have this replaced for you at a cost. I've got a mechanic that can do it at this point. Kumho Road Venture AT5. And they got plenty of tread, buddy. All kinds of tread. Big old exhaust on these things. They got a nice sound. And I love these Vortec 350s. It's a great motor. Um, I want to show you one more thing on the Oh, dent right there. Right here. These are losing a little bit, and you can't really tell. You really just can't tell. But they are losing a little bit of the texture stuff that was on them. And there's a smooth part right there. It's kind of odd, but it's what it's doing. And they fit nice and tight. I'm telling you, these things, this truck is so clean. You just wait till you see the inside. My goodness, you haven't even seen the inside, and I'm ramping and raving. Inside might be the cleanest thing on it. But that's around it. That's looking at everything going down this side. It's not got much of anything I could say about it. There's a tiny ding right there. Hope you can see that. There's a tiny crease or ding right there and right there and right there. Parking lot damage and such. This one's starting to come out there. And the little clips behind them, they're very cheap on eBay. I think they're 20 bucks or something. But I have to take the door panels off to get them on. I got a guy that can do that if you need that. But you want a clean Tahoe, and you're looking for one, stop it and call me. You need this Tahoe. It's nice. It's clean. I'm hoping to get a little bit more sun tomorrow. One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today, besides turkey season over next door here, is this beautiful 2000 Tahoe Z71. And this is the interior of it. So what I've got for you here today is the interior. And I usually do a walk around in a different light, but it's not that much different of a light. And I do know this, that water sure is pretty. I like my new picture spot because it's just gorgeous. Who are you? I'm your director. You're the director. The director is here. So there's that, and we'll keep walking around. I'm gonna show you the inside. I'm hoping it works okay because right now with this ash and smoke, it's getting dark all day, basically, around here. Yeah. And there's no way to get a good picture of the interior i got a little video of the back and i'll zoom that in somewhere hyperimpose it or superimpose it or whatever but there's a walk around it and i'll tell you what with those fender flares and such this thing looks good if you want the truck that's got the look well this truck's got the look that's all there is to it look no farther this truck's got the look i don't have a flashlight on my phone because i ran over my phone with a skid steer today so you can see the pedals super clean Except for where I have sand hardly anywhere even the pad underneath them super clean the carpets could use a cleaning um, but they're not real dirty by any means this is the only marks I found on the interior and you can have a good upholstery guy replace this for 100 to 200 bucks max um, there's a little I guess I call it fold over here and if you clean these real good that would go away this has got a little 
surface wear, but it's not through, it's not through it. Okay, this is the quick under the hood video, and it's the Vortec 350 5.7, and it is clean as can be. I got it from Nevada, and it's a very nice car, um, car, SUV. It's a one or two owner, and I'll tell you what, it's been taken care of. That's for darn sure. Um, label here is flipping up a little bit. Needs a little glue behind it or something. But if you're looking for clean, it's going to be hard pressed to find much cleaner. It's hunting season here, man. They are shooting. Something's getting killed. Beautiful river, beautiful day, and absolutely gorgeous Z71. Now back to your regular programming. Headliner is in great shape. Somebody will get annoyed by that, I'm sure, I'm sorry. Headliner's in great shape and it's got the central command system here. And it has, what is that? Rear air, so it's got rear AC. Um, it's just in beautiful shape. I'm gonna show you the back here. This seat it really doesn't look like it's ever been set in. Like I say, the carpets are clean. They're not oh, bad or anything. They just could, if you cleaned them, a carpet clean thing, it would be great. These they need their little respective loops made tighter, clipped off, and that would look great. That just wears out on time over any Chevy. This is a little mark from being folded down. Uh, there's that with the cup holders and the tissue holder. Pretty cool. Older, can I see? You can on the way home. Okay. And yeah, seats look great. Headliner looks great. Rear AC, rear AC controls. All the good stuff, man. All the good stuff. And look, it even comes out there on the floor to where all your passengers can be cool. I showed you back here, but I didn't mention something that I've seen. Is this. This is taped over. This stuff always does that on these. Um, great condition speakers and yeah this is there's a spare underneath it that's just in there um, this won't come with it uh, but there's a spare brand new one I think underneath it underneath it and here's a little video of the back here without the big tire in it that we didn't take out headliners in great shape it's a beautiful truck excuse me barn doors you know the barn doors are the way to go Okay, in here, just older leather. There's a little fold over a little bit. There's no wear holes or nothing like that. It's in good shape. And these fold down and everything. Um, backs of the seats, great condition. I'm gonna show you this now. I have all the books and such. And you'll find these in the glove compartment. I'm just gonna, for now, put them together in the original little holder and put them in the glove compartment. Who carries gloves anymore and puts them in the compartment? If I carry gloves, they're in the toolbox. And underneath here, it's clean. Nice truck, it really is. Um, cup holders, and there is these cup holders. And this is cool for taking notes and stuff. Dash is in great shape. Great shape. You know what, right here. Right there. Is that cut out? Is it cut out or snapped? That's snapped. Little piece. So, wanna make sure and show you that. Um, oh, both of these, the covers are gone. In fact, one's over there. Um, and that's that. So, that is pretty much the interior of the truck and it's hard to know exactly how much of my battery is going to last here but it seems to be doing okay at this point I'll get some more stuff tomorrow and throw it in like the underneath pictures and stuff like that um, this is a beautiful truck and I'll show you this other visor and then you've got this all this up here and you got your garage door opener things Ooh, there could be like gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, gold coins, nope. Sunglasses and all that to hold up there. This one, same problem. And things, that's just what Chevys do. At least this is still here and not pulled off like most of them. And these are still here and 
that's that. Um, all your controls, the windows are good, locks are good, all that good stuff. So, Kumho Road Venture AT5 ones. I said AT5s in the others, other video. This door here, you gotta close a little hard. Well, I didn't even have to close it hard there, but there, sometimes it bounced back at you like that. So I didn't close it hard. Now you gotta close it a little harder, closes right up. A little sag to it over the years. That's the only door that does it, and this is split out just so you know. Nothing big deal. It's not gone, but that's the deal. We're gonna go for a test drive now. See how this baby rolls down the road. Got my mail in here, with cone holders and everything though. It's all in good shape. Um, now I've got to find my key. Lily's got to get her seatbelt on. Okay. And we're gonna make like a banana and split. You see these guys, they're all fly fishing up there. Cool stuff. Okay, just like Willie now, on a road again. Now windows have a tent to them, so if that's not legal in your state, it could be an issue for you. You wanna make sure and be upfront and honest about everything on it. It's a little, hang on a sec. Let me get on the road. It's a little terrace of it right there. Right there. I don't know if you can see that if my camera will focus that close. But, yeehaw. Wuhan! We are on the road again. So, shifting, running, it does it all, man. And it does it just like it should. Forty-six on her. Lights are bright. Look at that. The brights are bright. It's a very odd time for taking video right now. And the windows, by the way, super fast, which is nice. Brakes are good. Stops good. It at some point is going to need something. I don't know if it's brakes. I don't know if a starter will go out on you. I don't know if uh, an alternator or something. And just it's the life of having cars a necessary evil. I guarantee you something will go out at some point, but right now I drive this thing anywhere and I do. Okay, bump the stinking camera there. Popo's out and everything. This thing downshifts, upshifts, everything just at, like it should. And it runs nice. Um, there you go, I got the lights on the dash now. Brighter. But I drive this thing anywhere. Woman, kids drive around and go everywhere. I don't need a problem. I don't need her to break down somewhere. So I get something a little nicer that ain't gonna have a problem. And, but like I say, it's the necessary evil. At some point, something's gonna break on your new truck. And I do my best to source the best inventory. Nice quality stuff that's running good. And we tinker around and fix up a couple things that might need a little fixing. <laughs> this thing didn't need much fixing or nothing. We washed it, man. They just kind of cleaned it up and redid the fender flares and such. And, that's it, man. It's just there's not a lot of nothing that this thing needed. Whoever had it really took care of it. I'm gonna give you another. I'm gonna give you another downshift. Well, over here like that. But I'll tell you what. The valley is a far. It's a far. And definitely a different look right now with all this. This is my place, and I got a bunch of older stuff. Not a lot. This new stops nice and straight. Um, this is more of a newer rig for me, but Lily's going to get the gate. Okay. And, man, we pulled this thing out. Piece of junk. It's set out here for 20 years. 20. And it's just kind of falling apart around it, but I bought it because it had a Rolls-Royce grill in it. You got to have that Continental Package Rolls-Royce grill with the boat top. Whoop, whoop. Grill is worth 500 bucks. I think I paid 200 for the car. Now I gotta put it on marketplace. But if you like any old stuff, I got an old Ford there. I got another flare side for it, a nice Dodge over there. Got lots of Mercedes, I got a nice wagon over there. Uh, I got a Lexus for sale. Um, just kind of driving through and talking about what we got for sale. But see up front, got a C10 there, short bed. That Ford's bad to the bone. Got Trans Ams like it ain't nobody's business. Got a little Fox body Ford coming up at some point. Got that big old caddy over there, man. Woo, buddy. There's the Lexus. Nice, nice, nice 
Lexus. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up in the driveway. Vans, and military cuckbees, and convertible caddies, and man, it's all out here, man. We got all kinds of stuff out here. Right here. This is a good, this is a good place to say goodbye to you. Uh, four by all oh, works good and all that. I hope I said this thing's four by. I had to have. Man, the windows are fast, and they're all good too. Oh, they got the child locks. <laughs> yeah, you can take that off. That's funny. Got the thermometer up there, and man, that's about the options and stuff. Ain't nothing I don't know it don't work. It's a good rig, and like I say, I'd drive it anywhere. Take this off. Turn my lights off. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And like I say, if you're looking for one of these, stop it. Get a hold of me because you need this one. It's bad to the bone. And that's that. Nathan, 406 546 8748. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Make sure and like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming up. And check my channel for some of your other favorite rigs, because I probably got a few of them on there.